bone marrow transplant for immune deficiency i am a pediatric immunologist and we often cure children with immune deficiencies by performing a bone marrow transplant when i meet a family with a primary immune deficiency and tell them that your child needs a bone marrow transplant parents naturally have several questions and in this video we shall try answering a few of them what is bone marrow transplant bone marrow is actually the spongy tissue the red spongy tissue in the center of the bone it is the factory where all kinds of blood cells are being produced the white blood cells the red blood cells and the platelets so if this factory for some reason fails to work the person is naturally going to become sick because then the blood cells are not getting produced bone marrow transplant is a procedure wherein the bone marrow from a healthy donor is given to the patient in need is bone marrow transplant a surgery no bone marrow transplant is not a surgery unlike a liver transplant or a kidney transplant wherein the organ must be harvested from the donor and given to the patient we need to perform an operation in both of the on the other hand in a bone marrow transplant no surgery is performed it is like a blood transfusion where the bone marrow from the donor is taken and given as a transfusion to the patient who is the donor as in blood transfusion we need a blood group matched donor for transfusion in the very same way for bone marrow transplant we need to do something known as hla typing because we need hla matched donors this hla typing can be done either by a blood test or a buccal swab donors can be family members we prefer brothers or sisters who are a full matched donor in 25% of cases in case a full match donor is not available within the family we can go to the bone marrow registry and search for a donor in the absence of this second option we can choose parents who would be half match as haplo donors how do you prepare for bone marrow transplant the first step is to correctly diagnose the condition and stabilize the baby the next step would be to find the right donor and once we have found the right donor we perform the pre transplant investigations on the patient and the donor and then the child is admitted in the hospital what happens after the admission so most often we perform what is known as the allogenic bone marrow transplant wherein from a healthy donor marrow is taken and given to the patient following admission chemotherapy drugs are given to the patient this helps destroy the marrow and create space for the new cells that are to come this chemotherapy medications are usually given for 5 to 10 days following this the bone marrow stem cells that have been collected from the donor are infused in the patient as a transfusion we call it the day 0 of the bone marrow transplant what is engraftment so once the bone marrow is infused there are stem cells in the bone marrow which go and then home in inside the bone marrow of the recipient these stem cells then start producing new white blood cells and the neutrophils come out in the blood in the next two weeks once the neutrophils are produced we call it the engraftment so naturally the first two weeks after transplant are very crucial because during this period the patient does not have any white blood cells and the risk of infection is very high and that is why during this period patients are kept in specialized isolation rooms once the neutrophils start appearing subsequently the platelets start developing and that is when we can discharge the patient what happens after discharge following a bone marrow transplant the immune system is not yet fully developed it would take several months for the immune system to get developed the first 100 days of transplant are very crucial during this period patients are kept on close follow up 
and they are maintained on many medications over the course of next 6 to 12 months medications are gradually reduced and stopped how do you know that transplant is working a specialized test called chimerism test is performed on the patient and this tells us how is the transplant working and this is performed on regular intervals and it guides us and tells us that the transplant is working well will it cure my child with immune deficiency this is very important as immune deficiencies are serious diseases and parents wish to know can they cure their children with a bone marrow transplant the answer is yes we can cure immune deficiencies with a bone marrow transplant most of the cases we are able to stop all the medications by 12 months following a bone marrow transplant the success of a bone marrow transplant depends on several factors the underlying immune deficiency the condition of the child at the time of transplant the type of the donor and several other factors in general the success of transplant can vary anywhere between 50 to 90% based on these factors and one must discuss with the transplant doctor what would be the success in a given scenario children with immune deficiencies severe combined immune deficiency chronic granulomatous disease leukocyte adhesion deficiency and several other immune deficiencies can be cured with a bone marrow transplant with advancement in science we can now offer a better cure rate to all children with immune deficiencies